Because I was a lot of people's right <laughs> right now. Because they're like, I want to play like that. I'm over and praying because I can't play like that. But he's going to help us to play like that. Father God, we love you. We thank you. We honor you. We thank you for Jay for coming back in the studio to pour out to your people. We love you. We thank you on this day in Christ Jesus' name. We do pray. Amen. All right, so this song is, for one, it's a classic. Always going to be a classic. But it's really in C sharp. But that six, when they play that six at the end, it's a major. Mm -hmm. So really, that's the biggest difference. Uh, it's a B flat major. Normally, you would play a B flat minor over the six when you're in C sharp. But uh, Richard Smallwood is that Richard? No, that's Kirk Franklin. Mm -hmm. I'm it almost sounded like a Richard Smallwood song. And so that, it gave me that Richard Smallwood type feel. But uh, that, that classical feel, yeah. So just remember a lot of times they'll switch things up like that. So let's just go with the scale real quick. And then once again, we're going to back, we'll go back to the seven things, maybe eight. Eight being the number of new beginnings, nine being divine. Oh, yes. Ten oh. being a win. <laughs> Eleven being in heaven. <laughs> We just can't put that on the spot. Here we go. You ready? C sharp is the one. E flat is the two. F is the three. F sharp is the four. A flat is the five. B flat is the six. C is the seven. Back in D flat with the one. C sharp is the one. Okay. All right. So we came in. Oh, yeah. You know what? We're going to just, once again, if you want to learn the actual structure of the song, Real basic. Let's just play it real basic real quick. Two, five, one, to the four, seven, to the three, to the six, major. And then you can walk it back up or walk it down however you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so however you want to do it. Or you can walk it down. The record is walking down, so. I never played it like the record. <laughs> I just walked it up. <laughs> that, you did that in the middle of the song. That's number one. We're going to learn number one. That's the first one. Do that circle of fifths. How did you do I that? I don't even today? remember what I just did. So when you went down, instead of going, instead of going straight down, you did a circle to get. Yeah, show us that. So, actually, you did walk it down and then you did the circle. Alright, so break that down. Break that down. I heard y'all, y'all want that. So, if you end so, so in F sharp it'll be like six, two, five, one, four. That's so dope. It literally did a six, two, five, one, four. Is that what you say? Six, two, five, one, four in F sharp. <laughs> two is going to be the smoothness of how you came in and you play different play something different now you can only right. get away with this if you don't have a bass player okay? right it's just like a rearm or well, no so, bass line yeah yeah so here we go why do you Mm -hmm. Okay, so you play, which is like a, uh, 
that's like a uh, goodness, my, my mind's late. It's like a G minor eleven, G minor nine. Sorry. Uh, matter of fact, I tell you what, play G real quick. Just play G. Uh, yeah, so G minor eleven. So I, I got lost for a second. I was like, my mind's playing tricks on me. Could remember <laughs> my theory for a quick second. But yeah, so you play like a G minor eleven, but you played it over the five. Yep. Okay. So that was different. So instead of doing the regular just B flat major over the B flat, mm -hmm. you went to the five of B flat, which is F. And you play the G minor 11. Okay. That's actually really. I might play something. <laughs>